It's easy to look around our area and see how blessed we are with beautiful scenery and an incredible setting for our work and lives. Our guests come to our area in large part due to our area's awesome beauty and all of the fun things to see and do here. We want our visitors to experience this amazing place as our welcome guests and as our future neighbors. One of the most critical factors that influences all of this is how well our guests are treated while they're here. As guests in other businesses, we've all had experiences in which we've either been treated well or treated poorly. While we love to return to the places that treat us well, we often stop going to places that don't seem to care about our business, and we usually tell our friends. More often than not, poor service is a result of unhappy servers who really don't like their work. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to get to go to work with people you like, do work you enjoy, watch guests having fun, and your results and paycheck keep getting bigger and better? Research shows that the average unhappy guest will tell 8 to 15 people. 7 out of 10 unhappy customers will do business with you again if you resolve the problem. And that number goes up to 95% if you correct their problem on the spot. Each one of us, each moment of each day, has a unique opportunity to make a difference in our guest's enjoyment of our area. No matter what your job may be, you can find a way to make a difference in someone's day and create memories for them. Imagine that if you and everyone else in our community came to work each day with a fresh set of eyes and an open heart ready to serve our guests, we would help create an incredible community culture of service and great memories for our guests. The heart of hospitality starts with you and involves exceeding guests' expectations and going over and above what they expect. Hello again, I'm Todd Morris, former owner and manager of Chimney Rock Park a local business that deeply believes in the value of service. Over my time with the park, I learned that an average unhappy guest would tell 8 to 15 other people. And it can take 12 positive experiences to make up for a single negative one. Since only about 4% of guests that are unhappy will tell you about it, that's why it's so critical to do the best you can to turn that unhappy guest into a happy one. Our dedicated community volunteers have come up with a basic way that we believe any service provider can use to help with the difficult challenge of dealing with an unhappy guest. But first, let's look at a few examples of how not to handle an unhappy guest. And by the way, if you've been paying attention, I am wearing the same shirt. Excuse me, sir, I bought these shoes here. I wore them a couple of times in the tofu out. And I would like to return them. Well, there's nothing we can do about that. You'll have to contact the company. But I bought them here. Well, just... And I have my receipt. Well, I'm sorry, just go online. Contact the I company. I have no access to a computer. Well, just call them. Get their 800 number and call them. But there's nothing we can do about it. Well, then I'm just never going to shop here again. Oh, well. That guy was an idiot. I'm never coming back here. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. 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 Yes, but there's something here that I didn't, I didn't order. Anyway. I'm sorry, that's the bill. Mm -hmm. I'll tell my Facebook friends not to come back here. No kidding. I thought terrible. this was a great place. I know. Excuse me. Man? Man? Yes, sir. I'm not sure this steak is actually cooked. The baked potato is freezing. It's cold. Enjoy. Serve me a raw steak. We've all probably seen some form of these scenes in action, haven't we? Let's now go over what we've come up with to help you have a solid foundation to provide outstanding guest service to your guests. To make it easy to remember, we've come up with the acronym LAST, L-A-S-T, to remind you that you may have one last chance to save your relationship with this guest before they walk out the door and tell all of their friends about their negative experience with you. L. Listen and let the guest vent. 
A. Apologize for the guest trouble. S. Solve the guest problem. T. Thank the guest. Now that you know what last stands for, let's talk about what each point means. Listen and let the guest vent. When someone is really unhappy, they first need to feel heard before you can help solve their problem. Apologize for the guest trouble. When the guests finish venting, it's very important to offer a sincere apology. You won't be able to help solve their problem until you've listened to them and apologized. Solve your guest's problem. At this point, you've established a good rapport and there's dialogue between the two of you. So you're in the best position to make a difference in their experience. Make their problems yours and become an advocate for your guest. If you're not clear at this point exactly what they're needing or what it will require, simply ask. Ask your guest, what would it take, what can I do to help resolve your issue or to make your experience better? Simply by doing that, you'll often find it's very simple and you can correct it on the spot. Now, if you're hearing something that you're not sure that you have the authority to provide, here's where you can really continue to be an advocate for your guest. Escort them to a supervisor explain the issue, and see what you can work out together. Um, if you do that, they'll always remember and really appreciate the experience. Thank the guests. After all, when they bring a problem to your attention, it's, it's a chance for you to um, show them good customer service and give them a reason to come back and visit you again. And after all, the customer is why we're in business. So thank them for their business, solve their problem, and invite them back. Here are some examples of how this might look in action. Excuse me, sir. Yes. I bought these shoes from you last week, and I wore them only a couple of times, and the toe blew out. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. I have my receipt. Well, that's no problem. You know what? We'll just uh, swap these out for you. Oh, thank you. There. How about that? Oh, that's great. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Come back to see I, us again. I love shopping here, and I will be back. All right. Thank you. That was a really nice guy. I might come back here again. Here you are, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, there, excuse me. Yes. Um, there's just one mistake here. There's something here that I didn't wear. I didn't have that. What did you have? I had the grilled chicken salad. Grilled chicken salad? Without that, yes. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. I'll get that fixed for you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. How oh, wonderful. She is so sweet. I know. This is I such a great restaurant. Here. Love it here. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, sir. I don't think my steak is cooked properly. I'm so sorry. You're correct. What can I do for you? I'd like it to be cooked the way I ordered it, please. So, like, I'll take it to the kitchen for you? Yes. Thank you, and I'll be right back. You all finished, sir? Yes. And thank you for taking care of that. That really made a difference. You're very welcome. It. I'm glad you enjoyed your dinner. Thanks. In order to help you learn these points and use them in your day-to-day -day interactions with guests, please feel free to watch this video again. There's also a link to a written form of these points next to where you click to watch this video. Your workplace should also have a copy of these points posted for easy reference. If you don't see them, please print a copy out and get your manager to post it for you. Another important step is to take time to get with your manager or supervisor to better understand what you can and can't do to serve your guests. This will help you always know how to serve your guests. Providing outstanding guest service is easy and natural when you start with a smile and you follow your heart. Imagine if all our area businesses were full of smiling associates and happy guests. It first starts with you. Great service is a lofty goal which requires each of us to dig deep. It's the heart of hospitality and brings guests back again and again. Great service is made fresh, made local, making memories. Thanks for taking the time to learn these steps today. Have a wonderful day.